so this this is the bottom of the Porsche this is where the two exhausts meet some of the enthusiasts complain about this part let me show you here because both sides kind of ram into each other and then it goes back on that central exhaust tip but this thing is cool. Look at this. Forged aluminum everywhere. You can see there's a drive shaft. Here's stock exhaust coming back to the OEM muffler here. And there's two of them. Transaxle here. Check out the sway bar with easy to replace bushings. Here's the chassis brace. Let me go a little bit farther in. Now, this is the reason I'm here, is to replace the oil. There's the drain plug. So this is the oil filter housing. This is a canister filter that drops in. Now, this is a, a flat six. And there you go, one, two, three, on one side, which is really cool. And you can see other three coming out here. Jack stands naturally. What a neat car. This is the first time I've been under it. And I like it. There's my handsome little man coming to help me. Oh wow. Made in Germany, y'all. <laughs> 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 so this is everything you need. Mobile One ZOW40, k &N oil filter, funnel, 74 millimeter wrench, 8 millimeter socket, extensions, torque wrench, and some kind of drain pan. Okay, here we are. I'm going to loosen this now. I'm going to try not to make a mess, but I know how these things work. These things hold about 8 quarts, so there's going to be a lot of oil. Try to hold on. Ooh, I still have the drain plug. Look at that. I'm glad to see that come out. Now I don't have this car level, and that would be nice if I did. So maybe those there's a tenth of a quart in front of the pan or something, but that's okay. Then after the oil is drained, put the new crush washer onto the drain plug, and then retorque to 37 foot-pounds. Now this is my old beam style torque wrench. My clicker quit for some reason. This is old, but it still works. I don't know if you can see the oil filter. Well, you can see the, my wrench there, or my socket. Now remember, this one gets torqued at 18 foot-pounds when it's reinstalled. Why it's not coming out, I don't know. And there we go. Once you get the housing off, then you need the new O-ring. And I just use this little cheap cleaning tool to pry off the old one. Yuck. And the new one should go right on. Here we go. Then the other important thing to do is to get your canister. This is my K&N. Doesn't matter which way it goes in. Drop this in. Make sure it seats all the way. But then pre-fill this canister as much as you can so that the bearings aren't dry when you go to start it up for the first time. Be careful, go slow. Maybe you don't need a funnel. 
It makes me feel better, even though the inside is funnel shaped. So this will take about eight quarts. I'll put in five, and then I'll go a little slower on the others. And then I'll have to go back inside on the instrument panel and see, um, see the fill level. So this is how you check the oil level on the Porsche Cayman. On your display, go to vehicle, it's the right button on the steering wheel, scroll down to oil measurement, and then you'll see. So this is fine, it's on the, in the green, on the lower end of that. 